The VHS tape, at one point a cherished technology that held family memories, movies, and all kinds of video content. Well, now they're virtually extinct. So what do you do with an old VHS tape? You hack it. During a recent closet clean-out, I found these old VHS tapes. Instructional video on the saxophone? The only instrument I know how to play is the harmonica. Okay, not so much. Secrets to perfect hair? Not for me, I don't have any. Well, maybe I got it for Tux the Cat. Domino? He doesn't care about perfect hair. Super Step Stair Climber with Bruce Jenner? Caitlyn Jenner? What in the world? All right, I'll use the saxophone tape for this VHS tape hack project. We gotta get inside, so I'll remove all the screws. In this case, there were five of them, and we're gonna hang on to those because we need to put this back together later. Okay, once all the screws are out, we're gonna open up the case, and inside you'll see the take-up reel and feed reel for this classic VHS tape. We'll go ahead and carefully remove each of those reels and set them aside, and then we're gonna remove all the little plastic pieces inside this case. There's roller guides and all kinds of little parts that we'll hang on to. You never know, might need them for another project down the road. Okay, now back to those reels. We're gonna use a scissor and cut the tape right where it's at, it doesn't really matter where, because we're gonna preserve this tape on the reels. And then I'm gonna take some scotch tape and put a couple of pieces on the tape just to secure it to the reels temporarily. Now back inside the case, those reels will go because we need to do a modification to them. We're gonna close up the case because we wanna see the reels inside the tape when we're done with this hack. So in these windows here, we're gonna need to see the reels, but we're also gonna need to cut out an area on both reels. So I'll eyeball it and make some marks with a Sharpie and pull those reels back out of the case. Now, because we're gonna be cutting through the tape, we need to secure the tape to itself and the housing on the reel. So I'm gonna use my soldering iron, and while this isn't the best use of a soldering iron, we're gonna burn two holes into the tape. Now you wanna be sure that you don't breathe these fumes in, and then also clean your soldering iron really good before you use it again. Now it's time to make our cuts, so we'll be using our trusty Dremel with a cutting tool on it, and cut into that plastic and through the tape. After you've made the cuts on the first reel, it's time to pop the other reel out and go ahead and make the cuts on that one as well. Carefully remove the sections that you've cut out and then place both of those reels back into the case for the next step. Hey guys, before we wrap up this build, I wanted to take just a minute to introduce you to the Great Courses Plus and also thank them for sponsoring this episode. VHS tapes are a thing of the past when it comes to learning. Now you can learn everything about anything from the world's greatest professors with the Great Courses Plus on-demand video learning service. You get unlimited access to a huge library of 8,000 video lectures about anything, including math, history, literature, science, and of course, my favorite, tons of how-to topics. And you can enjoy them on your TV, tablet, laptop, and phone. I've been wanting to improve my photography skills, so The Great Courses Plus hooked me up with a 24-lecture course, National Geographic Masters of Photography. So far, it's been really good. So check it out. The Great Courses Plus is giving my fans a great offer of a free month trial and plans as low as $14.99 a month. So show your support of my show and subscribe to The Great Courses Plus by going to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Kip K. After this video, click on the link in the description below to start your free trial. Thanks. Okay, now we get to the main component of this VHS tape hack. It's an ultra slim four port USB hub. Now this is really inexpensive online. In fact, there's a link in the description if you wanna pick one of these up. And of course, we're gonna get inside by popping off the housing to this little fella, just leaving the main board and the cable, which by the way, we need to remove. There's a total of eight pins here and we're gonna remove the cable that's going to that because we need a longer one. So. I found a USB cable. I'm gonna cut off the micro USB end, trim and strip those wires, and I'm gonna use this to replace the old cable so we have more length. And this hub is gonna go right here inside of our VHS tape. To make it a little bit more funky, I'm gonna add two blue LEDs to this project because every good hack has LEDs. 
and I'll be using a 200 ohm resistor to reduce the current going to those LEDs. I've wired the LEDs to the power and ground lines for that USB cable, and it's time to put them inside the tape. I'll be using some hot glue to position these LEDs, one on each reel, so they'll glow through those windows on the case. The LEDs are in place and now it's time to position that board, fitting it inside those cutouts we made in the reels. Laying the cover in place one more time, we're going to use a Sharpie to make marks where those USB ports are and then using the Dremel, we're going to cut out little openings so the cover fits snugly around those USB ports. Now it's time to check for fit and we're good. Let's remove the sticker off the tape now because we don't want to remember those horrible saxophone lessons that I never took. And it's time to put everything back together using those original screws on the case. We'll secure them nice and snug. Oh, and I needed one more thing with my Dremel and that's to cut out a little groove on the door of the tape just to make room for the cable. The VHS tape hack is done and now we have a cool retro VHS USB hub that glows. And it looks really awesome on my under monitor surge protector. So that's how to take a vintage VHS tape and turn it into something useful. Hey, click on a couple of these links and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.